August 21st, 2022. I'm gonna try to make this video as best as I can and understand what I'm trying to present. I'm reluctant doing videos for so many reasons. First of all, I don't really know. I'm really not good at at it. I don't have productions like a lot of these uh, people have, okay? I'm just um, an old man researcher who has a passion for over 30 cents Hellbop, Comet Hellbop, and some insights that I might help others who right now who are doing their best trying to present the current events i see them i listen to them i watch their videos and there are some fakers out there there are some real ones out there also i'm always reminded god sends messages like a phony mega church that we have across the nation that's only concerned about making money they're making everybody feel good not presenting what's actually happening the violations of the Ten Commandments. They don't uh, seldom hear the word Jesus Christ come out of their mouth. For the money, they drive, they fly around in private jets. They got mansions and they're, they're a bunch of deceivers. Good looking, know how to talk. They have productions, etc. Same with YouTube. So if he's going to send a message, where would he send it? He would send it to the poorest place where people don't. He place it in simplest place. And I've discovered some individuals I feel strongly spiritually that are being sent messages i'm gonna before i start showing the comet the comet comet 20 a1 leonard and uh, i know leonard was last year 2017 k2 panstar and why these two i feel are playing an important part in a hidden message that only a few can understand it the decipher decode because each of one of us have a gift all of us have a gift we're living at that time right now where all of us that have been dormant lighthouse been turned off because of fear of the fbi knocking your door down the irs the fear of losing your job because of the fear standing up the fear of defending your children it's what's happening now it's an abomination of the innocent so let's start this astronomer if i pronounce things wrong or i can't read the, the words forgive me i'm putting it right here in the screen where you can see spiritually I already know what it means. This person here, where I get my information, where I, I believe, is this person right here. And I put, his name is um, Marcus. Manilius. Manilius. Marcus Manilius. This per, why is this person important? He wrote a book back in the first century. Wikipedia, there's a little information about this. The first century, when Jesus of Nazareth was born. So that basically puts him in that, that time period. There's little known of Millennius. Wikipedia has some information, but uh, you know Wikipedia could be distorted because there's forces out there that like to put oil in the water and distort the truth. But the fact to the matter is he existed during the time of Jesus' birth when Jesus was walking the earth. This group, like the Templars, they had become secretive because they were being persecuted. They were forbidden to read the uh, zodiac, astrology, and all that other stuff. But little is known that this group was basically founded by Daniel. Daniel, great prophet. I, I put a little link here. Let me just, uh, just put Stay. See? God Most High has sent you this message, and it means that you will be forced to live with the wild animals far away from humans. You will eat grass like a wild animal and live outdoors for seven years. Okay, that's a little bit of Daniel. I just picked that at random. <laughs> basically oh my god we're, we're, we're facing what the, the world is turning into uh today <laughs> teaching kids how to eat bugs and the other horrible horrific things but millennius marcus belonged to the a group in the book it's ma magi and i put the word right here where was it magi um right okay pronounce this right here there it is magni magni okay magni so that's the group he wrote the book back in the first century belonged to now it's very sounds very similar it's missing the drop let's see drop the n and you got well you drop the n yeah you drop the n and you have this magi 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 we remember the magi because of the three kings when they followed the star and led them to bethlehem they say it was three kings because they gave three gifts but you never know there was probably more in that group and probably i'm i believe can't prove it i believe marcus was one of them now, where did the Magi group get their knowledge from? I did a little one-on-one, -on -one and it was Alexandria Library in Egypt before it got burnt, destroyed. All that knowledge, the prior civilization, got their, their knowledge 
from the start. That's how they knew that the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, was going to be born on that day. They knew where to follow. When they knew what they were looking for, so they knew the stars. They knew how to read it, read, read them. Because to them, they had a belief that all this was divine. That God, God was the one created oh, created the universe. Works of a great deity. Right here, here it is. Work of a great deity claims that perfectly regular movement of the sun, moon, planets, and stars is the proof that the universe is the product of a god. He also says that the universe itself is a god. And then there's Latin. God. Period. He knew the creator, the divine, created the universe. I'm hoping I'm making some sense, a little bit of sense. Let me jump back to the Magi, the biblical Magi, the three kings. There's more information. This is a Wikipedia. The link is there. Uh, Magi, similar. Magi, similar. Marcus, Mick Mar Marcus, also called Wiseman. Now, isn't that a coincidence? Marcus and that name is almost similar. You got the uh, coded. Remember, they had to code their information back then. But this is the first century. This is the time of the three kings. This is the time of that group, like compared to the like the Knights Templar. It had to be secretive. They couldn't come out and say, "Yeah, yeah, this is, book was written by the Magi," because it probably probably would have got burnt or he would have been persecuted. So he, like Nostradamus. He does it in quatrains, encoded, hidden. It's right there before your eyes. If you just drop a letter here, drop a letter there, and bingo. And also the group. The group, you know, they've been um, demonized as a bunch of uh, uh, this, that, this, that. But the group was founded by Daniel. He wrote down when things to look for when Christ was going to come. So he was definitely connected. Now that I put that out, that information out, where I get my information I mean, I get it from other sources too. There's other people that interpret, try to interpret it, like Robson back in 1800. But I bet he got a lot of his information from Manilius, Marcus Manilius. The information that I'm about to present in a couple parts is going to revolve about the constellation Scorpio. This comet right here, which is Comet 2021A1 Leonard which I have a lot of videos on it. I, for some reason, I was, um, and where Leonard wound up. Why am I bringing Leonard back? Because Leonard was a messenger. So is uh, Comet 2017 K2 Panstar. It's also a messenger and where they wound up, where they both came together. These two massive, beautiful comets. Comets are like messengers too. They, they like bouncing balls. They bounce in and they tell stories of this, this third place, this place, this place. So the information that I'm, going to be presenting is basically coming from Manilius. I'm going to be following who I believe 100% in my spirit, soul, mind, existence that this individual was a Magi. And who knows, he could have been one of the three kings, part of the group with the three kings. Makes sense to me. I'll see you in a little bit.